stay there with him for 13. And Embry is 38. Very, very valuable indeed, so far as England were concerned. 315 for six, and the Indian bowlers, who had high hopes of knocking over England for something around about 150 earlier in the day, had to settle for those figures there. Kapil Dev, 258, bowled splendidly all day. Binny, perhaps a little underused, 10 overs just for 33. And Chatan Sharma reached the three figures. He was five and over. And Maninda Singh and Ravi Shastri did a lot of work out there and each of them bowled extremely well here at Edgbaston on this second morning. A few drops of rain about, but uh, we got away to a prompt start. Here's the second ball of the morning. Mike Gatting is taking strike. There's no addition to the score. Kapil Dev is the bowler. Bingo. A little bit of width there from Kapil Dev. And a tremendous flail of the bat from Gatting. And the England skipper picking up just where he left off yesterday. Really commanding form, particularly off the front foot through the offside. Buster will have to hurry. This is a very tight run by Gatting. He was the striker, his call went straight away. Neil Foster, slightly dilatory and carrying his helmet, which can't help him sprinting. And was quite lucky to get in. Roger Binney is going to come on from the member's end. And that's a lofted one over extra cover. bowling from Roger Binney. He slipped the medium pace Yorker right through Foster's defence. And the Yorker has been the undoing of Neil Foster on several occasions. He plays right across that one. Beautiful delivery from Binney and an excellent sight for the bowler with the middle stump, stump uprooted. Phil Edmonds is the new batsman. That'll please uh, Philippe, means that he's not going in at number 11. He's got himself up to number 9 today. And with the 50 to get him. Good stuff. Out of 328. Placement again. Edmonds will like that. Just a couple of dead wool. Bill Edmonds has made his intentions very plain this morning. He's going to play his shots as his middle sex spin twin John Embry did yesterday. Beautiful stroke for four. Lovely square drive. Those crushing off drives have been the feature of this Gatting innings. Anything with the slightest bit of width around off stump, summarily dispatched. Phil Edmonds' batting career has been uh, a very odd one. I think he will have batted in every single position in the order for Middlesex. He had a spell going in first. He certainly batted at number four for Cambridge University when he was captain. Oh, that might just have carried the second slip is Veng Sarka. And after the uh, amazing acrobatics we saw at Leeds when Gooch dropped his catch and was helped by French to take it again. But Bing Sarker, now that's in the air quite a long time, and they almost left it to each other. Now, Mike Gadding's highest score in Test cricket in this country was 160. 
which he's reached now. That was against Australia at Old Trafford in 1985. So one more to beat that. And Chetan Sharma, the bowler, getting races past that personal milestone. And the 350 comes up. The ball not terribly happy with the ball. But, uh, I don't think umpire Dicky Bird's going to change it at the moment. He's told him a couple of jokes and that's eased his mind a bit and he's continued with the old ball. Phil Edmonds goes after a useful partnership with Mike Gatting. Bowled by Chet and Sharma for 18. And Bruce French coming in now. He's not a mug either with the bat. See the delivery again, very full length, just outside off stump, swinging in, hitting off the middle. Right, it's to be. Capital Dev from the commentary end. Ooh, that was a nasty one. That really was. That did hop up. We've seen one or two balls bounce unevenly. And uh, I know Capital Dev has got a very fine high action, but that came back and lifted sharply. Straight through him. Now, Chet and Sharma, a bit of an enthusiast when it comes to appealing, will have heard a click. Might have come off Bruce French's pad. Certainly a pretty good delivery. Just coming back and, in fact, just touching the knee roll of the pad. Here's Capel Dip. Good shot for four. Beautifully timed and wonderfully well placed by French. interested this morning so far in hooking Mike Gatting. That kept low. Yeah, again you see a little bit of the indifferent bounce. That ball coming back a little bit and keeping pretty low and that would have been a pretty awkward delivery to a batsman just coming in and expecting the ball to bounce a little bit higher. Inside edge onto the stumps and then through to Kieran Moray. French is bowled by Chet and Sharma. It's made eight. 384 for nine, and it's just 15 minutes before lunch. Neil Radford making his test match debut. ago that the next one of those that came down was going to go had two bounces from Chet and Sharma which he let go over his shoulder yes on this occasion he didn't get the ball high enough it was only waist to chest high and Mike Gatting was able to put that down and through mid wicket Sharma to Radford that's well caught in spite of Kieran Morey, the keeper, Sunil Gavaskar, took a quite brilliant catch there to dismiss Neil Radford. Brilliant because on a previous occasion, Morey had sold Gavaskar the dummy at slip and blinded his view. This time he did the same, but Gavaskar instinctively stayed down. 
Mike Gadding undefeated. 183, superb innings, fine leadership by example by the England captain. Well, that's a lot better than England might have hoped for at the start when those uh, two zeros appeared up there and a great deal of it due to their skip of Mike Gadding. 183 not out, a wonderful innings from him. One of the best performances I've seen from him in any class of cricket and full credit too to the bottom part of the England order. They didn't give it away, they stuck around with their skipper. Pringle 44, Embury 38, Foster 17, Edmonds 18, French 8 and Radford stayed there as well while runs were added. 390 and the bowling figures for India was rather slow going as regards the over eight in the morning session. Kapil Dev finished with two for 89. Vinny White for 53. Chutan Sharma, four for 130 from 29.3 overs. Maninda Singh, two for 66. And Shastri, one for 45. Weren't used today. These seam bowlers were the ones who did all the work. So 390 on the board for England. And the Indian openers, Gavaskar and Srikant, came out to bat. It's always a very nervous moment when you have to bowl your first over in Test cricket. Neil Radford got through his, and we pick it up now with just the second ball of the second over coming up. Neil Foster is bowling it from the city end. Take the strike is Chris Rickett. David Gara is the sprinter. Three runs to Shrikant. Oh, brilliant stop. Well done for Evans. It's unlucky not to get four then. Excellent conditions for seam bowling. Neil Radford has the benefit of quite a strong breeze behind him. Well, that's bad luck for Neil Radford. Good luck for Gavaskar. Really was well bowled. He put a lot into that. Got some surprising lift. In fact, Gavaskar played it beautifully with the bottom hand taking off the handle of the bat. In the air, brilliant catch, superb effort. Gavaskar doesn't like it, thinks it bounced. Does Athi, or does he not? Well, I think Bill Athi said and conceded that that ball hit the ground. It was a fine bit of sportsmanship. Most acrobatic performance by Athi. And he just saw it tumble out then. And he probably jammed it with his chest into the ground. Stephen Wall, uh, Warwickshire staff member. Well, when you flash as hard as that, it's bound to fly away if you make any sort of contact at all. But we've always thought of Shrikant as a... Uh, Someone who looks for his shots very quickly, just like that. That's his strength, plays it so beautifully. At the risk of upsetting Neil Radford, I must say that's a beautiful shot to watch. out there at the moment and India off to another flyer there it is again now we've seen that once or twice get back says Radford <laughs> is that the East 
Good spot to bowl at Shrikant. Not giving him any room at all. He's tucked right up. Got no room for manoeuvre and quite a painful blow. Oh, that's beautifully played. That's always going there. And Neil Radford now is really having to count the cost of bowling on Midland leg stump to the Indians. And the 50 comes up after only 51 balls. Wicket. A wicket for Neil Radford. Shrikant goes. Great moment for this young man. Always marvellous when you pick up your first wicket. He took a little bit of stick in the five overs and now he's taken a wicket and full credit to Neil Radford he's kept at it Shrikant taking risks outside the off stump top edge there straightforward catch to Pringle and a memorable moment for the Worcestershire player so he'll be in a happier frame of mind and so will skipper Mike Gatting the new batsman is Mohinda Armanath. Change of the bowling. Derek Pringle has come on now to take the place of uh, his Essex teammate Neil Foster. He's had quite a good series so far, Derek Pringle. In the air, just short. Never had a carry to Foster, completely miscued by Gavaskar. Well, I suppose that if Foster had really seen it very quick and taken two or three strides and dive for it, he might have just got there. to produce all the time not only did it cut back as well as deceive the greatest run getter in the world with the line and movement but it also hit down at the base of the stump and two run getters of the innings Rakant and Gavaskar have gone and the success story of the tour comes in now Dilip Vansaka Beautiful timing from Dilip Bensaka. Hardly touched that. Just a lovely little forward defensive stroke. Now there's an official warning from umpire Dickie Bird for Derek Pringle. Uh, Dickie Bird has done a lot of talking to bowlers during this match helping, advising, but ultimately action has to be taken. But Derek Pringle overstepping. This is Pringle coming in now, past umpire Dickie Bird. And as the follow through will be important here, right on the middle and stretching out. And this is Embury. Oh, well, talk about line and length. I don't think I'd like to have been fielding that short square leg then. Now, just look at Mark Benson as Amanath plays that shot. Oh, look at Dickie Bird. <laughs> that looked very close. Well, that's uh, Embry back on song, line and length, and quite a bit of spin out there. And that might indicate a little bit more work for Embury and Edmonds in the final session of play here on this second day. Armanath and Vensaka both batting well. Gavaskar and Shrikant, the men out. 90 for two, India. And in fact, those two batsmen went along very quietly after the tea interval to the point where we pick up play the fifth ball of the fifth over after tea. Three runs have been added. John Embry, the off spinner, is coming in now, and Dilip Bensaka is taking strike. 
That's beautifully placed. But not beautifully fielded. I didn't actually like the way Foster was coming around there. He looked uh, to be moving in rather stilted fashion. Phil Edmonds, the bowler, and he's bowling to Armanath. Hundred up for India in reply to England's 390. 101 for two now. With Ben Shaikh going on to 22. Amanath is 21. Fine shot by Amanath. Edmund just got his mid on fairly wide there. That's Graham Gooch. No chance of him getting across. It was left to Phil Edmonds to try and do his own fielding. That was a fine effort at a stop from Edmonds. Half volley punished. Just bouncing off his arm before making its way to the fence. Beautiful shot for four. Gensaka is in terrific form again here at Edgbaston. Just matching the other innings he's played so far in the series. This is a very difficult shot to execute. But a player in such great form as Fensaka makes it look easy. Change in the bowling. John Embury goes off. His figures seven overs, two maidens, new wicket for 17. On comes Neil Radford. And Neil Radford. Look up a little bit of pace and devil. And that's not the first time this series Armanath has been hit on the head. You see him here, he takes his eye completely off the ball and just turns his head backwards, takes a nasty blow on the back of the head. Almost as though... Mahindra Ramanath was able to read Neil Radford's thoughts there. He's established that he can play the hook now. And he was waiting for that one. Well, four from the hook bouncer and then four from the full toss on leg stump. Bradford attempting to get the ball right up there in the block hole, but overdoing it and a wild full toss just gently clipped away by Armanath for four. The Worcestershire pace man upset with himself. He had Armanath literally reeling on the ground. by Neil Foster not having the greatest luck this afternoon in the field Neil Foster managed to let another one go through earlier on he's uh, dived straight over that not amused brilliant catch what a marvellous catch, that was Graham Gooch. And relief and jubilation for Neil Radford, who'd had some stick, but now picks up the valuable wicket of Dilly Vingsaka. And this went like a shell to Graham Gooch's right hand. Fine diving catch, one-handed. That really went quickly. And... Uh, Neil Radford found that by pitching the ball up, it's the best players out. Vinksaka caught Gooch, Bull Radford, 38. Four close fielders for the new batsman, Azuruddin. And faces up to Phil Edmonds. Yes, well played, right to the pitch.
excellent move uh, as a routine gets well back or well forwards completely over that comes up loss of three wickets Foster coming into the attack perfect leg lie takes uh, Armanath to 49 not out now That's his half century. Two to Mohinda. Mohinda, who missed the second test match at Leeds to injury, back in the side again. And his second half century of the current series. So Pringle is back in the attack. And goes to Mohinda Armanat. That's beautifully bold. Derek Pringle always likely to get the lift, which has been apparent at that far end. Oh, the perfect delivery here. Good length, round about the off stump, leaving the batsman off the wicket, and a little bit of bounce. Seven more runs were added up to stumps, where India had made 182 for three. Very consistent scoreline there. Gavaskar 29, Srikant 23 and Ben Sarka 38 and a very polished 38 that was before he was so brilliantly caught by Graham Gooch. 59 not out to Mahindra Ramanath and 20 to Azruddin. They're moving along quite smoothly and that is a very strong Indian batting lineup. 182 for three and the bowling. I thought Radford made an interesting debut. Two for 63 from 17 overs, two maidens. He obviously hurries on to the batsman a little more than they believe is possible. Only a short run and quite a hustler as he comes into the crease. No wickets for Foster, Pringle had one, and the spinners Edmonds and Embury failed to take a wicket, although there was some turn there, but my word, it is slow turn, and there's not very much bounce there at all. The situation of the match, the second day, the end of the second day of this Cornhill test, India 208 behind, 182 for three against England's 300. And